بالعلم تزدهر الروابي ويزهو النجد في ظل الكتاب ويعلو بالتميز كل صرح يعانق بالعلا هام السحابي يعانق بالعلا هام السحابي ومدرسة التميز من رباها يشع النور في كل الرحاب درجت على مقاعدها ربيعا يراعي في يدي ومعي كتابي ومدرسة التميز من رباها يشع النور في كل الرحاب درجت على مقاعدها ربيعا يراعي في يدي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أعزائي طلاب مدرسة التميز النموذجية يسر مدرستكم أن تقدم لكم درسا جديدا من دروس اللغة الإنجليزية Welcome my dear students of grade 8 Today إن شاء الله We're going to study how to write a report about communication First, let's have an opener. Think to solve this riddle. I am there once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years. Who am I? Think before answering. I am once in a minute twice in a moment but never in a thousand years who am i yes it is the letter m it is the letter m now let's have our writing lesson open your students book page 68 The question is, your school is organizing a writing competition entitled, your school is organizing a writing competition entitled, its title is, the development of communication in the future, the development of communication in the future, plan and write a report of two paragraphs to take part in this competition. The first paragraph is In the first paragraph, write what means of communication from the past. What means of communication from the past you would like to bring back and why? What means of communication from the past? Messages in bottles pigeons, smoke signals, etc. In the second paragraph, write about what you think communication will be like in the future. What communication? Okay, what do you think communication will be like in the future? <clears throat> Let's fill in the following organizer with your notes. Then write your report in your notebook. This is the plan that you will make in your exam exactly. The title is The Development of Communication. The first column is about communication from the past. And the second column is communication in the future. In the first column, what did people used to have in the past? What means of communication did people used to have in the past? Or what did people do to have, what did people do to convey messages in the past? Do people use 
fires and smoke signals think yes they did did the kings use to send messages by messengers yes yes they did did people use fires to convey or send a message yes they did did people use bottles to send messages in the past yes they did did people use pigeons to send a message yes they did did people use telegraph in the past yes they did especially after an invention of the writing especially after the invention of writing now let's arrange our ideas from the past fires and smoke signals messengers fires bottles pigeons and telegraph okay the second column <clears throat> is about means of communication in the future will people have wearable bracelet will people have wearable bracelet yes they will Will people have smart newspaper? Will people have smart newspaper? Yes, they will have smart newspaper. Will people have smart eye lenses? Will people have smart eye lenses? Yes, people will have smart eye lenses. Will people have auto voices translating? translating? Will people have auto voice translating yes they will will there be flying cards will people have flying cards yes they will have flying cards will people have household robots will people have household robots yes they will let's arrange our ideas in the second column Wearable bracelet, smart newspaper, smart eye lenses, smart eye lenses, <clears throat> auto voice translating, flying cars, household robots. This is how you can make plans. Planning. This is how can you make this is how you can make plan like this <clears throat> now start writing your report and make sure that it has an introduction that attracts the readers attention make sure that your paragraphs have topic sentences make sure that each paragraph has details each paragraph has details that support the topic sentence write a conclusion to state your ideas and finally don't forget to edit your writing now my students let's have sample question let's have sample question let's have a sample question about communication we all have ideas feelings and opinions that we want to communicate plan and write a composition of two paragraphs not less than 10 sentences about communication explaining how people communicated in the past and the means of communications nowadays.
Your writing should include a topic sentence, supporting details, and a conclusion. So, what is the title? What is the title of the topic? It is communication. Communication or means of communication from the past and nowadays. Let's think together to make a plan. Let me remind you of means of communication. These are means of communication. Emails, are they from the past or nowadays? Yes, they are nowadays. Phone, mobile phones or smartphones. Are they from the past or nowadays? Yes, they are nowadays. Letters. Yes, they are from the past. Pigeons. Excellent. They are from the past. How do people communicate nowadays? What is the easiest way of communication? Yes, it is the smartphone. It is the smartphone. These are also means of communication. These are from the past. Drumming. People were using drums. Smoke signals. Carrier pigeons, telegraph, and messengers. Means of communication nowadays are computer, radio, telephone, newspaper, cell phone, letter, television or TV, magazine. Notes that people before the invention of writing were using drumming, smoke signals, they were also carving or painting on stones. Now let's make our plan. The title is communication and we have two columns. The first column is communication in the past or communication from the past and the second column is communication nowadays let's arrange our ideas before writing how do people keep no keep knowledge Yes, they kept in the memory. They kept it in the memory. Yes, knowledge in the memory. It is the first idea. <clears throat> Were people telling stories to younger? Yes, people were telling stories to younger. So, the second idea is telling stories to younger. Did people communicate by carving and painting on stones before the invention of writing? Yes, people did that. Carving and painting. After the invention of writing, how did people communicate? Did they write messages? Yes they began to write messages. This is the invention of writing. Writing down. The second column is communication nowadays. How do people communicate nowadays? Or what means of communications do we have nowadays? Yes, we have television, radio, 
computer, internet, mobile phones, and applications. Yes, let's arrange our ideas. Television and radio, computer and internet, mobile phones and applications. Are they faster and easier to use or not? Yes, they are faster and easier. Now, let's begin to write our topic. Now we can use our plan to write the report. The introduction. The introduction of our topic is, you can write, means of communication have improved over ages. Means of communication have improved over ages. The topic sentence of the first paragraph. The topic sentence of the first paragraph. Means of communication weren't easy or fast in the past. Means of communication weren't easy or fast in the past. This is our topic sentence. The details that explain the topic sentence. Before the invention of writing, people kept knowledge in the memory. Before the invention of writing, people kept knowledge in the memory. <clears throat> they, couldn't <clears throat> they couldn't write. People couldn't write. Another sentence. They sent messages to the young by telling stories. They sent messages to the young by telling stories. Yes. Another sentence. <clears throat> People also carved and painted on stones to communicate. People also carved and painted on stones to communicate. People only used to carve and paint on stones to, commu to communicate. This is before the invention of writing. Another sentence. After the invention of writing, people wrote letters and used telegraph to communicate. After the invention of writing, people wrote letters and used telegraph to communicate. <clears throat> the first paragraph is means of communication have improved over ages and this is our topic sentence. Before the invention of writing, people kept knowledge in the memory. They sent messages to the young by telling stories. People also carved and painted on stones to communicate. After the invention of writing, people wrote letters and used telegraph to communicate. And this is our first paragraph. The topic sentence of the second paragraph is modern inventions have changed the ways we communicate modern inventions have changed the ways we communicate let's explain our topic sentence <clears throat> and this is our details <clears throat> the first sentence television and radio are the ways of communication that we can find everywhere Everyone all over the world has a television and radio. The details. Another sentence. We get a lot of information from the internet. We get a lot of, in of our information from the internet. We get a lot of our information from the internet. Yes, the internet is a great source of information. Another sentence, mobile phones and applications have made the world a small village. Mobile phones and applications have made the world a small, a small village. The details, another sentence, now communication happens faster and easier. Now 
communication happens faster and easier. Do you agree? Yes. The second paragraph is, Modern inventions have changed the ways we communicate. Television and radio are the means of communication that you can find everywhere. We get a lot of, it, of our information from the internet. Mobile phones and applications have made the world a small village. Now communication happens faster and easier. The conclusion. The ways people communicate have changed gradually. The ways people communicate have changed gradually. Thank you, my dear students.